uh, tonight a push to break up Facebook from its popular social media properties. So much so, it could change how your personal profiles are protected. Yeah, a group calling itself Freedom from Facebook has just filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. As investigator Mike Holfeld found out, it would force a spin-off of Instagram and much more. The website says it all. Tell the FTC to break up Facebook. This company is really a data mining surveillance operation. That's the argument launched by Freedom from Facebook. The group just filed a complaint with the FTC, calling on the government agency to force Facebook to spin off WhatsApp, Instagram, and Messenger, all vulnerable, they say, to the same security breach that hit 50 million Facebook accounts. We should not trust Facebook to regulate itself. Sarah Miller is deputy director of Open Markets Institute, part of the Freedom from Facebook Alliance. Miller tells News 6 the group doesn't trust Facebook's intentions to fix its security. We are more determined than our opponents, and we will keep fighting. When Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg testified before Congress in September, she assured lawmakers Facebook leadership was focused on security for its more than 2 billion users. Then this. The New York Times reporting this week that Facebook's top brass not only ignored warning signs of Russian interference in 2016, but sought to conceal them from public view. The big New York Times report yesterday showed they've been acting in bad faith as far as taking real meaningful action to police the platform. On a conference call with reporters yesterday, CEO Mark Zuckerberg denied the Times report. To suggest that we weren't interested in knowing the truth, or that we wanted to hide what we knew or that we tried to prevent investigations is simply untrue. It's not clear how the FTC or Facebook account holders will react to all of this. Perhaps the COO said it best. Trust takes a long time to rebuild. From the newsroom, Mike Holfeld, News 6.